What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the beginning of this year slash like towards the tail end of last year, I created a video that was titled updated must have accessories slash my entire accessories collection. In that video, I basically just broke down every single piece that is an accessory that I have owned and accumulated over that year. And you guys seem to have really enjoyed it. So in today's video, I want to do the exact same thing, but just an updated version of that video. I definitely accumulated a ton of new things in regards to accessories for the year of 2020. I have like a ton of new bags. Um, low-key just like a ton of new bags so yeah i think you guys kind of get it i'm just going to run through every single accessory piece that i own how i style them like my personal thoughts on like why i picked them out and all that good stuff as always everything like mentioned and worn will be in the description box down below so check that out if you're interested in any of the things that i'm talking about Big thank you to the team over at Shop Tiger for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Shop Tiger is an amazing online app and Google Chrome extension that uses clever tech to ensure you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. I'll be talking about them more in depth later on in the video and you can also find links to everything Shop Tiger related in the description box down below. I say this in every single video, but this video right here will most definitely get chatty. It's gonna be a long one. So sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink and just kind of like relax with me for a bit and let's get into my must-have accessories slash updated accessories collection of 2020. All right, you guys, so I'm just not trying to waste any time. I'm just gonna dive right in. That's why the intro was a little bit like to the point and like, let's get her going or type of thing. So the first category that I wanna talk about is bags. If you guys watch this channel, if you are regulars, you would know like the bag thing is nothing new. I am always wearing some sort of bag and low key. I feel like for a dude, I have a lot of bags. So needless to say, we got a lot to get through. So the first bag that I wanted to talk about is this bag right here. This is the Heliot Emil Carabiner box bag. I have been wanting this bag so long. I've been a really big fan of the Heliot Emil brand. I feel like what they do is definitely different and it's a little bit more out there for my personal style, but I feel like my personal style is a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more casual. So implementing pieces like this that are again, louder, a little bit more out there and just like very visually interesting to look at. I think that combined with a more relaxed look is just like a good combination in my opinion. So obviously this is what the bag looks like, just features a ton of chunky hardware, very loud and almost like obnoxious like carabiner handle at the top. So you just open it like this and the bag opens like that. Low key for a small box bag, this bag right here definitely fits a lot and as i mentioned i just wanted this bag for a really long time quality is 100 there so for any of you guys who are interested in getting this bag i'd highly recommend all right you guys so before we get into the rest of the accessories and before we get into like the other bags and stuff i want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor shop tiger i'm such an avid believer in <laughs> shop tiger i can't tell you guys enough like they have saved me so much money one of the best examples that i can give you is this comme des garçons wallet that i'm going to be talking about in a second this comme des garçons wallet actually retails for i believe a little over 200 or 300 dollars or something and i copied it on sale using shop tiger it was super easy they just like notified me and they were like hey the item you saved on sale and then i went ahead and i copped it for less than the actual retail price which is obviously great because if any of you guys are like me i love fashion and i love designer goods but i'm always trying to get the best deal where i can so shop tiger is definitely the number one online tool that i would highly recommend shop tiger is super easy to use and it's free all you have to do is just hop on the shop tiger website go ahead and download this little web browser extension so when you guys are shopping on your favorite websites like essence farfetch if you want something a little bit more affordable affordable like H&M, Uniqlo, all that good stuff. You go ahead and do some like online shopping and browsing. And if you see an item you like, all you have to do is just like save it to your Shop Tiger wish list and you can categorize it by like size, price point in which it drops. You can even create categories and Shop Tiger will actually let you know if and when that particular item ever goes on sale. Shop Tiger also has this new feature as well that they'll even save you even more money because when you go to the checkout, Shop Tiger will scan and search like basically the whole entire web for additional additional discounts slash coupon codes that will be applicable to your purchase if again it is valid. Shop Tiger also just launched a new cashback feature. You guys can now earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners which is great because I know a lot of you guys are probably doing your online holiday shopping so why not earn some cash back while you're at it. Yeah, it's just such a great online tool and resource that I think you guys would just really benefit from. If any of you guys are interested I'll have a link to Shop Tiger in the description box down below so you guys can again check them out, download it, if you're interested and once again much love to shop tiger for sponsoring this video and always supporting my channel 
So this bag right here is a bag that every single time I post about it, you guys on my Instagram are always asking me, where's that bag from? Where'd you get that bag? Yo, can I get the ID on that bag? So I am talking about this Zara bag right here. So this is obviously just this, the base of the bag and then it comes with a strap. Let me just go ahead and do this real quick. So this is what the Zara box bag looks like. It has this very interesting faux leather textured like material that's made out of the actual bag. It almost kind of resembles epi leather, but obviously it's faux leather, it's not real. This bag, I think the reason why you guys like it so much is because it's very reminiscent of the Louis Vuitton multi-pochette or the Prada re-edition bags. And like I said, every single time I post about this bag, you guys go crazy. And it's actually back in stock right now. So definitely be sure to check this out. I personally am a really big fan of the LV the multi pochette or the Prada re-edition bag, but I'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars on the LV multi pochette or the Prada bag. And so I think bags like this that, you know, kind of give off the vibes without having to pay the price tag of those said bags, all the while still getting the same aesthetic, still getting the same look, um, I think is a really great option. And that's obviously where this Zara bag comes into play. So this next one right here, I got a two for one for you guys, a pair of APC denim tote bags that I got recently. So this one right here is a more special one because this one is the APC in collaboration with Jujuja Aoun. If you guys are new here, that's like kind of an inside joke that I have on this channel. Anyways, going back to the tote bag, this is what it looks like right here. I personally love like the denim vibes. I think it's really great. I really do like the logo in the front. It's a little bit more louder. Um, and I think it just, again, has like that nice little casual flex. The reason why I love this tote bag so much is because for one, it's super inexpensive. I actually believe it's on sale right now, but this fits so much stuff. Always on the go, I have like my laptop, my keys, my external drive, my camera, my vlog camera. I have so much stuff so i need a bag that's going to carry a lot so on the days that i'm like out and about and i need just a bag to carry all those daily essentials this bag is definitely the bag that i reach for and then if you like the denim tote bag but you're like oh stevie that's a little bit too big i have this option for you guys so this is just a standard apc tote bag it's not in collaboration with the judge -ja -ja people it's obviously like the same aesthetic but in a smaller size and this is a tote bag that i gravitate towards for you know when i'm just trying to go somewhere really quick or maybe when i'm just like again trying to run a quick errand and I need like a smaller bag that's gonna hold quite a bit of stuff this bag is definitely a good option as well so it really just kind of like depends you know if you like the bigger tote bags or if you like the smaller ones but nonetheless both really great options so the next bag that I want to show you guys is nothing new to this channel but it is a bag that kind of like holds a special place in my heart because <laughs> that sounds so like it's a special place in my heart but you get what i'm trying to say right like it's definitely a little bit more of a sentimental thing because this was my first ever designer bag that i purchased on my own and it is this prada bum bag right here it's basically just a fanny pack but obviously with the prada like logo and prada nylon the quality up there 100 i wanted to talk about this bag right here obviously because as i mentioned in the intro this is my entire accessories collection and this accessory piece right here from prada is definitely something that i I plan to hold on to for a really long time. I feel like this is a really good testament to the point that I'm trying to make in regards to if you spend a lot of money on something, chances are you're gonna hold on to it for a really long time. I plan to like, you know, give this to my son or my daughter or something. Um, there's just something about it. It's so classic, so timeless. And like I said, even though it was a little bit more expensive, I know for a fact I'm gonna have it for a really long time. So kind of switching gears, don't get me wrong, we have a lot of other bags to get through, but I kind of want to like, you know, break it up into sections. Kind of diving into hats, the first one that I wanted to talk about is obviously the one that I have on my head right now. It is just like a Prada nylon baseball cap, has a nice little Velcro, like adjustable strap in the back. Ever since I bought this hat, I have been living in this hat right here. I style it up with pretty much every single one of my outfits. Again, I've been saying it, my style is a little bit more casual, it's a little bit more relaxed. And I feel like when you have that one piece, which for me, I love to like kind of have that standout piece be the accessory. There's just something about it. It's just like, I don't know, it's a hit, it's a vibe for sure. I definitely have streamlined all of my hats. So it's basically just this Prada hat that I'm wearing right now and these ASOS Fisherman beanies. So as I mentioned, these beanies right here are just beanies that I live for. I swear by these so much. I've been wearing these like years now. Shout out to ASOS, they come in so many colors. They're super affordable. Just have it in a black colorway, which obviously matches with everything. And then if I'm wearing something a little bit more basic or something a little bit more simple, and I want like that pop of color somewhere in my outfit, I usually will reach for 
this blue ASOS Fisherman beanie right here. And ASOS always does like random sales. So sometimes you can get these ASOS Fisherman beanies for literally like $3. I don't know about you guys, but that's like a steal 100%. So like I said, comes in like 50 billion colors. So before we finish the rest of the bags that I said I had, cause like the first round was again, just the first round. I wanna take a, like a little break and show you guys the new in wallet that I got. So as you can see, like I said, standard black leather bifold with the classic kind of like gold embossed CDG stamping on the actual wallet. I really like this wallet a lot because it holds so much cards um, and it just has like a lot of space. If you guys kind of keep up with the vlogs and just like the other videos, you would know that I just recently became a real estate agent. So as much as I I personally used to love having a card holder. The card holder doesn't hold a lot of cards. Like card holders are really only used to like hold like your debit card and like a couple of credit cards and like maybe some cash here and there. But ever since I became a real estate agent, I needed somewhere to put my business cards. So yeah, this CDG one definitely comes in handy. I really like it. The quality is definitely there and it's not that expensive as well. So I'd highly recommend checking this one out if you guys are interested. All right, so now kind of diving into the rest of the bags. These bags right here are definitely a little bit more affordable. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that. So the first bag that I want to share with you. It was actually a two for one as well because it's from the same brand. So it is these article and goods bags right here. This is their iconic classic camera crossbody bag in this really nice mocha brown color. As you can see from the bureau clips, it has like a really nice gold hardware as well, which is something a little bit different for me because as you saw from like all of my other bags and even what I'm wearing right now, I tend to always gravitate towards like silver hardware. So having that like gold hardware is definitely like a nice switch up. And I said it before, but I'll say it again. The reason why I love article and goods so much is because the quality is there and you don't have to pay a lot of money to get a quality bag and article and goods definitely proves that point so i have this bag right here this is also a new in bag from article and goods as well and this is their mini shopper tote as you can see from the bureau clips it's not like the biggest bag so don't think it's going to hold a lot but in the same breath it holds like just enough if that makes any sense so this is the base of the bag and then it comes with a nice crossbody strap it wouldn't be a stevie solly video without talking about some um, Solly Studios merch. So recently I just came out with some merch and this is just the tote bag that I came out with and designed. Just like a simple standard tan canvas bag. Perfect for like going to the grocery or running like super light errands. It just says Solly Studios in the front and then just says casual flex on the bottom. These are still available on my website if you're interested. Again, nothing crazy or anything, just like some simple merch that I wanted to make for you guys. I find myself reaching for this tote bag when again, I want to do something a little bit more light if I'm just going to the coffee shop and I just need something to hold maybe like my laptop, my wallet, my phone, my keys, and maybe like a bottle of water or something. I'm really happy how these turned out. They're actually doing pretty well like on my website right now. And yeah, there's not that much left. So if you're interested, get this if you want. I feel like there's like a theme here. I'm showing you guys like a lot of Prada. I'm showing you a lot of Comme des Garçons. So if Prada or Comme des Garçons, if you're watching this, bring my line. The next item that I want to share with you guys is this Comme des Garçons pouch. If you watch my last accessories video, you would know that I've been having this. My homie Roosevelt, he's one of my really good friends. I went to New York Fashion Week with him last year. Like I said, he's like a homie. Um, we have like matching tattoos, all that good stuff. He bought me this for my birthday right after Fashion Week and needless to say, because he is my homie, kind of like what I said about the other pieces, it holds like a little bit more of a special place in my heart and I will most definitely never get rid of this guy. It's definitely a little bit more smaller, so it doesn't really hold a lot, but nonetheless, it's still a really great outfit finisher. Like even what I'm wearing right now, I'll probably switch out the hat for like a beanie or something. But yeah, it just has the Comme des Garçons bold logo in the front and then it has the gold hardware. You zip it open like this and it just holds this. And I don't know if it's just me, but there's something about the CDG leather it just smells so good. It, it Like I feel like no other leather smell like this. And I don't know what it is, but I really like it. But yeah, anyways, black pouch, CDG comes in red as well and it comes in a tote bag version so kind of depending on what you like and stuff um yeah check it out so as if i didn't have enough tote bags and i didn't show you guys enough tote bags already i have another one and it is my last one so bear with me it is this gray wool like tote bag right here from my brand called casual club and it has the pouch as well right here the pouch and the tote obviously are separate but i wanted to mention them as like a two for one sort of deal i really like this tote as well because i love the structuredness of the actual piece 
as you can see it sits up by itself and i think it's due to again like the actual fabrication and like the actual makeup of the bag i feel like the gray wool is something a little bit different and i feel like texture is a really big thing especially for like the fall slash winter vibes and i like to wear this bag again when i'm wearing something a little bit more basic i love seeing this tote bag paired with like an all gray outfit or even like an all tan outfit and then having this pop of not only like the texture but then having like an accessory as well i feel like it's like a great practical accessory that comes through with like a casual flex if you made it this far you are 100 a real one and we still have one more category after this which is jewelry so just stick like just hold tight so the last bag related thing that i wanted to share with you guys is this balenciaga pouch right here this is also one of the very first like designer items that I bought by myself. And kind of like what I said about the Prada bum bag, I will probably never get rid of this Balenciaga pouch. There's just something about it. I feel like, I don't know, just, I like till this day, even though I don't wear it as much, obviously because of the pandemic, we're not really going out and stuff, but I still like love and appreciate this pouch right here so much. I feel like you can do so much things with it. If you're the type of person who's like on their work tip, you're like a business owner, you're an entrepreneur and you want like a bougie pouch to hold all of your documents or you know just like your business like stuff this could be great for you or if you're just a type of person who likes wearing pouches for like everyday vibes this is also good for you i think in retrospect right like i can definitely see myself holding on to this when i'm like 30 years old 40 years old and the quality 100 is definitely up there um and for a pouch it definitely holds a lot when my channel kind of started doing well i bought this for myself as kind of like a you know pat on the back sort of deal it's just a nice little reminder of like how far i've came and stuff the last category that I want to talk about for my like updated accessories collection video is jewelry. So let me just put out one thing. If you see me in any type of jewelry, just assume it's from the brand APSE. And mind you, these are all rings because rings is definitely my go-to kind of jewelry piece that I tend to wear. I feel like it fits me and my personal style very well. It doesn't do too much. And that's like the reason why I love rings so much is because you can add it to any outfit and it just, it just won't be like a lot, you know? you guys and that is it for my updated accessories collection 2020 video if you guys made it this far again you are most definitely 100 a real one i feel like i covered so much stuff like the ground right now is like such a mess but yeah i think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace